Welcome back to another video, everyone. I'm going to go through steps five and six in this video. So we're going to need to do this to both sheets of fabric and we're going to be marking them again on the wrong side. So the side that we marked with the W for wrong. You'll need a marking pencil and your rulers again. And now what we're going to do is we are going to do some measuring from the top part of your bag. So decide which side you want to be the top Make sure that your W is facing you. And we're going to make two lines. So the very first thing that we're going to do is measure four inches down from the top. So again, our number four, sorry that you can see the reflection of the lights, but our number four, this is one inch down, two inches down, three inches down, four inches down. So the top part of this ruler right here needs to line up with the top part of the fabric of your bag. This number four is where we're gonna end up marking our lines. So in order to do this, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so that way you can see closer. Okay, so in order to measure four inches down, we're going to line up the top edge of our fabric with the top edge of our ruler. It shouldn't be overlapping at all. It should be right at the edge. So we're going to make a line right here where the number four is. Now we're going to move our ruler and we're going to do it again because we need several dotted lines that we will eventually connect together to create one longer line. So we're going to mark right here and right here. I'm going to move my ruler over a little bit, make sure it's lined up again, and I'm going to mark a line where the number four is. Now what I can do, now what I can do is take my ruler Line it up with all those markings that I made. Make sure that it's straight. And I can go ahead and draw a line straight across. The reason we need to draw a line straight across is because this is how we're going to mark where the strap for our bag is going to go. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to do it at two inches. So instead of counting down to the number four, we're going to count down to the number two. So I found my number two. I'm gonna make a small marking where it says number two on both sides of the ruler. I'm going to move my ruler again because again, we want multiple dots in order to ensure that we get as even of a line as possible and to make sure that it's not crooked. And now that I have a significant number of lines, I'm going to line up my ruler where all those lines meet so that way I get a really nice straight line. Whoops. And I'm going to draw a straight line all the way across, just like that. If you end up messing up a little bit at the top, that's okay. Just make sure you know which line is straight and where you're going to eventually fold. So now I'm going to place this fabric off to the side and I'm going to grab my next fabric. So now I'm going to follow the picture in my instruction sheet. I'm going to line up the edge of the fabric at the top with the edge of the ruler up there. I'm gonna mark a small line where the number four is. Try not to make it too large, otherwise you're going to lose track of where your line is supposed to be. Another four over here, one more dot right here. And I think I'm gonna put one more on either side of the middle. So one right there and one right there. So now I'm going to line up all of those lines and draw a straight line across, right through all those lines. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm going to measure down at the number two. So I'm putting a dash by two here, a dash by two here, scooching over the ruler, lining up the top edge of the ruler with the top edge of my fabric, Putting in a couple more dashes, doing it one more time, like that and like that. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing where I use my ruler to draw a straight line all the way across. So now this line right here is two inches down and this line right here is four inches down. I now have two identical sheets of fabric. Tune in to the next video for me to explain the next steps.
Thank you for watching.